It's vinyl time. It's a band box. Hey, I'm Annie, and this is why you should love music. Band box. Okay, it's a little bit late because the mail system gets crazy this time of year, but it's here. November's band box. For those of you who do not know, band box is a vinyl subscription service. It is very awesome. Every month you get two vinyl records from the same artist. Uh, they have a monthly featured artist, or you can pick one from their catalog, which is very cool. It also comes with a magazine about the band and a and a track-by-track track listening magazine. It's very cool. I don't know what this is. It is a big red Dire Straits. Love me some bubble wrap. All right, we got some making moves here. Dire Straits. 80s, is that 80s? Is that 70s? Is it 80s? I'm gonna say 80s. Band Docs. This one is super exciting because it's an oral history this month, which I'm super stoked to check out. The track by track listening guide is going to be for making moves. And then we got Love Over Gold. I actually do not know this album by them. All right, let's get into it. Okay, band docs. <laughs> I'm so excited. I feel like I'm going on a journey back to the origins. It took them nine months to fully form the band. It was like a whole child that was gestated. That was such a creepy metaphor. Pretend like I didn't say that. <laughs> Gotta love those egg trays. I also had a room in my house with egg trays on the wall at one point. <laughs> Whoa, that's crazy. Whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> I like how this guy's like, well, I had recorded Bruce Springsteen, but I had no reputation. That's, that's mind-blowing to me. It feels like a reputation to me. Woo! Sorry, it's in my head now when I'm reading about it. <laughs> my new favorite saying is it's not all strawberries. I'm not British enough to know things like that. Now I know. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was incredible. I love this. So they got the, they got John Ellsley bass. Pick Withers. What's Pick's real first name? I don't know Pick's real first name because he just goes by Pick. Anyway, and a sound, and some and a sound engineer and they just talk about these records and it's the coolest thing ever and you get awesome backstories and i love this a lot and talks making moves okay i kind of want to save this one for while i listen to it i'll just take a sneak peek okay tunnel of love romeo and juliet classic by the way. Oh. Okay, sorry. I got distracted by the quotes. I shouldn't be reading it yet. Ooh. I'm so excited about this box, you guys. All right. Making moves. Let's check this one out. This is when they were signed to Warner Brothers. Oh, nice. They have some really cool Polaroids and then the lyrics and writing and performing credits as well as the engineering, mixing, mastering, and photo credits. Very cool. Ooh, nice. Feels like a 180 grams. It's a nice pressing though. It's very clean. Here's side A and here's side B. You just got the classic Warner Brothers label, and it's super clean. There's not even any dust on it. Wow. Very nice. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to give this a spin. This is the kind of record that you want to put on to like either soothe your soul or to play like you grab a guitar and you play with it. Works both ways. Okay, Love Over Gold. I guess this album was right before Brothers in Arms, so I'm not as familiar with their entire discography, so I'm really glad to have this one, because I need to know about it. All right, here, ooh, the back is very cool. All right, here's the front, here's the back. Nice. 
digital download. Very nice of them. Ooh, this is a super nice, really thick sleeve, and it has the lyrics on it. Very fancy credits on the side, which is on theme. It's on brand. I love this a lot. Okay, moving on. Ooh, nice. This is really smooth pressing as well. Uh, it's on the thicker side of standard pressing, probably also about 180, but the rounded edges, it, the bevel on the outside is just like a little more high end. I don't really know how to say that. The attention to detail on this one seems like it's a nice, it's like a high quality pressing. Sometimes when they come to a point, it's harder to handle them. And it's just a little indication that they took a little extra time when they were pressing it, which is very cool. Here is side A, side one. One and A are the same in my head, apparently. And here's side two. Really nice, this is a really smooth pressing. I'm a fan of that. That was amazing. I super, super loved, especially this magazine was amazing. I'm excited to read through this one while I play, while I spin this. Um, I'm such a huge fan of Bandbox, and I'm so excited that they got, like, an interview with the band to do, like, an oral history that was so cool to see, and, like, just to read the little things, like, blisters on, on the, th <laughs> like, blisters on the thumb and pinky, that you're just like, yep, been there. It's amazing. Oh, also, exciting, shush, shush, doggy. Also, super exciting news. They just opened this awesome store where you can get 75% off records with free shipping, and it's very cool, so if you want to check that out, I'll have links in the description. Also, you can get 50% off your first month with the code Annie. It's my name. It's four letters long, which is weird, but that's the truth. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a fantastic week and enjoying music. I gotta go spin this and read this. I'm very stoked. I'll see you guys later.